against a guy like Stephon Diggs. Sam Martin corrals the snap. It's a short punt. Gibson on the return. Near side. I don't see any flags. Gibson inside the 30. Hits the Jets. And he's going to go. Jets win it. Touchdown. Rookie Xavier Gibson. Game over. Delivering this block on Quentin Morris, and that was the big one. John Perry. Yeah, it is big, but you got to put an asterisk on it because there's a tripping call that was not made. A trip, a leg whip right near the 23-yard line, number 55, which would have brought the touchdown back. Right there. Yep. Not called on the field, and it sprung Gibson really with the last important block Albeit with that leg whip. Un un unveiling of presenters. No thanks. <laughs> First and ten to start the fourth. Mahomes swings it out. Edwards Hilaire. This is one would be tackler in game six. Continue to watch this a little bit. That is a tad early. And then a little shot from Marquez Valdez Scandling. But hey, as a player, mm -hmm. it's not getting called. You're going to keep doing it. You're going to keep pushing it. Terry, let's just talk about how Taylor is lining up. Not the early movement, but where he's lining up to Chris's question before, is he legal or not? Sure, Mike. To be on the line, his helmet has to break the waistline of the center. And to be honest, we've watched him the whole game. He's really not remotely close. Uh, and it's really putting the defensive end at a tremendous disadvantage when he can be that far back. So again, it's the center's belt line. And does his helmet go there? Across. And then it's that early jump he gets in. Involved with Donovan Smith there. And could have been called a tripping penalty, which is a 15-yard flag. Fans rush forward. Bakke collapses. Tannehill strength. Rollout floats. High for Akine. It's incomplete. Watch his right hand right there. Ooh, he might have got a little bit of a face mask yeah. there as well, but it was not called. On third, car punt fits. Hit from behind, Arden Key, and he thinks that should be a fumble. The whistles are blown, saying that play is dead. Key thinks he had that ball on the bat swing, if you will, of the quarterback, quarterback car. Arm started forward with control of the ball. It's an incomplete pass, fourth down. And he gets a nice, oh, the left-hand arm, that is nice. And I don't know about that. we got to take another look at that. That's the reason why you don't blow it dead. Oh, it was not going forward. He hit that ball before it was going forward. Grable should challenge that again. But, Ross, even if they overturn this and give Tennessee the ball, what you don't get is that Bayard return. Is Derek Carr pushing a loose ball forward? If that's the case, then you basically have a fumble right that's moving forward in my opinion it doesn't appear that he has possession of that football before or with his arm going forward i think the defensive player dislodges this ball before Derek carr gets that ball in his firm possession moving forward you're not going to get the return on this clear recovery After further review the ruling on the field of an incomplete pass stands as called tennessee will be charged with a timeout and his first challenge of the game wow 11 picks earlier. Get them over the New Orleans guy. Tannehill lets loose. Knocked away and picked off into the hands of Marcus May. Yanum knocked it into the hands of May, the seventh year man out of Florida. And it's a second interception by the Saints defense. Looking for Chris Moore, you'll see right here going deep down the field and He's looking, he's looking, and a possible pass interference right there by Yanum, picked off by Marcus May. Plenty of time to throw. Fires deep through the hands of Alave. Watch Molden's right hand and left hand come across the front of his jersey and his back. Olave looked up, palms in the air. You see it right there, looking for the penalty. No penalty on that one. I think Molden got away with one. A little grabby on the back end of this play. Gainwell was the running back. They fake it to him. Hurts from the pocket. Able to find A.J. Brown at the 40 for a first. 
There is a flag. That was a 12-yard completion. This is going to be real interesting because stole, cut, block. You can't cut someone who's getting blocked, but I think he might have got pushed into Personal it. foul, shot block, offense number 69 and 89. Watch right here at the very end of this. He's going to come across the field and stole right here. Yep. Goes ready. You can't do that. But I think he got tripped. I think he tripped up on his own guy. And so he ends up falling into it. So let's see if he steps on Kelsey's foot here. Boom, right there. And then it looks like that, and that's... It, it just was tripped and off balance. It shouldn't have been called. Second down and nine. Now he's got a lane for the first time. Stevenson picks up the first down. But a flag is in the middle of the field. Holding. Offense number 85. 85, we'll see. Right there. Toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and then the hold is right. I didn't see it there. And I'm going to hear it up. And for the big ball, to the end zone. And Booty actually did a good job of preventing an interception. Works very hard to ensure. It's a good job by Blankenship out in the ball. He could have almost got that one actually at the end. You could argue it was almost a push-off, though, on Booty. <laughs> Without seeing the replay, and they think it's interference the other way, but uh, they think it's pass interference on blanket ship. I'm going the other way. I think Booty and then kind of tried to hold him. Oh. The passer, defense number 93. This 15 yard penalty will get to the end of the play. It's first down. Milton Williams was the culprit. Well, and he comes flying in, does a great job, but you can't do that. It's kind of soft. Young steps up and throws, and it looked like it was deflected. There's a flag down at the 45, and the Falcons' sideline is going crazy. Trey Flowers is complaining back there, so he's the one that's going to get the flag. Pass interference. Defense, number 33. False place at the spot of the foul. Automatic. First down. Does Arthur Smith have a legitimate beef here? He looks upset. Uh, it looks like Marshall just kind of goes down, like their feet get a little bit tangled up. I really didn't see anything from Flowers on that one. Yeah, that ball was deflected. He's still upset. Jeff Okuda inactive today, and here comes a flag. Smith Marset. The hook's going on. He's dragged down at the goal line, and here come flags. There are two fouls on the play, one by each team. Personal foul on the return. On the return team, number 13, blocking while out of bounds. During the return, personal foul, horse collar tackle on the kicking team, number 46. By rule, the ball is placed at the end of the run. It will be first down. They're marking the ball inside the one, and I, I, we need clarification. Wait, wait, wait. People at home are saying, well, wait a minute, there's a penalty on both teams. Would you replay it, or why is it spotted here? Unusual situation. You have fouls by both teams. They're both considered after the change of possession. This is a double after. And so the Panthers keep the ball, but they the ball is placed at the spot where their foul would be enforced from, which to me is really the end of the kick, not not the end of the run, depending on what what is further back. And that's why they ended up at the end, the end of the run, which is the one yard line. First and goal from the six. Play fake. Cousins, time, end zone, incomplete. Looking for Osborne and Antoine Winfield Jr. had good coverage. Kirk Cousins thought a flag should come out. So did the rest of the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to cover 53 and a third down here in the tight red zone, right? You've got to cover sideline to sideline. Yeah, it's a little tug there, but <laughs> well, he got away with it. Got away with it. <laughs> Mayfield, Evans, out of contact, there's no flag. The quarterback in the booth was calling for a flag. <laughs> I'm hitting both of you up here. <laughs> I know I'm down there arguing uh, for, for that call. If it's there, you see a lot of contact when he turns to come back and go here. 6'7", 265 out of Georgia. Pumps one way. Continues to look that way and floats it into the end zone incomplete. Wanted Hayward covered by Greenlaw. No flag. Right here, 83. You motioned. 
Darnell Washington to the other side. It's kind of a stop and go, trying to get a little bit of a double move, but Dre Greenlaw played that really, really well. He's playing for Cosme, who came off the field. Screen on third down for Gibson with blockers. Gibson, he's got the first down. I believe, let's see, the spot looked a little bit short. You can't challenge a spot if it relates to the line of the game. challenging ruling on the field. The ball carrier being stopped short of the line of the game. Timeout. But this is a reviewable and challengeable play. That's an unofficial yellow line, but that 34-yard line is the line to gain. And it seemed like the ball was there when Gibson was down. That was my initial reaction as well. We'll see if this challenge turns out to be fruitful for Washington. We were told by Alan Eck that the challenge is unsuccessful, much to the dismay of many of the fans here. I, I would tend to disagree with that ruling. Holding. Number 77, offense. How Here's this plays out. Charles right here. You can see him in combination. That, let me just tell you, from uh, one left guard to another, yeah. that is not holding. I want, I, 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 a little extension maybe at the end? I'm not sure. I don't want to hear about your I, extension, I'm, Adam. I'm, I understand. I'm I understand. just letting you know that that's not holding. Pass it first. Number 87, offense. Well, here he is right here coming off the ball. And you just can see him. This is kind of... A little ticky-tack to me. I mean, I'm not quite sure. I think you see that on every play just about in the National Football League. If you've watched any Kansas City film with Travis Kelsey, you sure. see it pretty much every route. And I bet you Ron Rivera is saying that that's incidental contact. For an offensive player, you cannot block beyond one yard of the line of scrimmage once the pass is thrown. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Wow. Defense number 98. Huge penalty. Third, what was it, 16? Exactly. And you got Jones, and you know, just look, not a lot, but with the football after the Stephen Nelson interception. Three blitzer off the corner. Stroud somehow escapes, throws, and completes. Unbelievable play by the rookie quarterback. There is a marker thrown. Holding offense, number 78. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. We got him the penalty is 10 yards. Be third down. Mm. Well, that's their franchise left tackle. Arch, what a killer. It looks as if you're going to see Tunsil, first of all, Clowney coming off the edge unblocked. Another miss in protection. Tunsil is at the left side of your screen, and I certainly, you know, on that look, it doesn't really appear that Tunsil really had anything. It seemed it's just as the defensive player disengaged, I didn't see a jersey pull or anything, but.